I've been playing Fortnite for over a year and I can safely say that I've seen a lot, and I mean a lot of unique original skins and reskins. I cannot tell you the amount of reskins of Peely and Bright Bomber I've seen. However, I'm very picky when it comes to Fortnite original skins and I only try and go for whatever skins that interest me. Spoilers, it's mostly the female skins. Even if I have to buy the battle pass to get it, and a lot of them I end up going attached to, but I can only pick my top 10. And that's what today's video is about. Goku Genio OV1, Starter Protagonist is here, and today this will be my top 10 favorite Fortnite original skins. So, starting off at number 10 is Antonia. I will continue to say that Chapter 4 Season 4 is the best season I've ever played, and it definitely cooked with the Battle Pass. Antonia is easily my second favorite in the season's battle pass. I like her design a lot. It pretty much gives off boss lady vibes and when you have the mask on her, she's even more badass. So yeah, they definitely cooked hard with Antonia and I'm so glad to own her. And number 9 is Bellberry. Now I was so happy to have her gifted to me. She's a super cute skin from her, the heart shaped eyes to the pink hair the really cute dress she has giving off ballerina vibes i like the strawberry design on her dress and the second edit style is just wow the black and purple combo slaps i also like the reactivity she has being able to glow in the dark yeah she's definitely a skin i enjoy running whenever i play as her bellberry is definitely amazing in my eyes and now we get to number eight and some of you might be a bit surprised by this choice but I'm going to give the number 8 spot to Joy. Now I will say this here, giving her a built-in icon emote wasn't really the brightest idea, but I'm not complaining much. I almost missed out on buying the Invincible collab because I ended up buying her for 1200 V-Bucks and Lila from Futurama, but thankfully things worked out well in the end. As for the skin itself, I like it a lot. I was a little turned off from the skin colors, but I warmed up to it pretty quickly. And the pink shirt with the rainbow on her chest is really cute. But damn does she have some curvy hips. Just like the one at number 7, which is Trailblazer Lynx. Trailblazer Lynx is a reskin of Lynx from Chapter 1 Season 7's Battle Pass. Which looks good, but I say her reskins are way better. Especially Trailblazer Lynx. She was only available as a level up quest pack during the near end of Chapter 5 Season 1. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I love space themed stuff and she's no exception. The outfit she has on looks so awesome. The white, purple, and pink really clash together well. And her second edit style is even more amazing. The goggles are really cool as well and I like the glow of her outfit. This is a prime example of how to do reskins and skins with an astronaut vibe. Speaking of astronaut vibes, I got Kat at number 6. She's the female counterpart of Kit from Chapter 2 Season 3's Battle Pass. And from what I've heard, she's apparently Kit's younger sister, I believe. I'm not sure, but either way, she's really adorable. I love the mech she has going for her. It looks really cool. The amount of Elder Styles are a nice touch, but a second Elder Style is the best for me. If you haven't bought Fortnite Crew during Chapter 5 Seasons 1 and 2, you've missed out on one of the most adorable skins Fortnite has ever made. And now we get to the number 5 spot, and starting it off is Kimiko 5 Tails. Oh yeah, a furry skin in the top 5. Look, I ain't no furry and never will be. However, I do think Kimiko is an awesome looking skin. The design of her looks really cool, and I love the reactivity she has. Whenever you get a kill, a tail will pop on her butt. Get 5 kills and you get all 5 tails. I really love how creative Fortnite can get when it comes to the reactivity game, and Kimiko is no exception, but yeah, I really like Kimiko a lot. She's a really cool skin to use. And now we get to number 4, which is Mei. Yep, another Battle Pass skin from Chapter 4 Season 4. When I saw her in the cinematic trailer, she immediately caught my interest. I like the look she's got going on, from the bucket hat to the lilac pigtails to the khaki overalls and the vibe she gives off when it comes to being a hacker. Her second edit style is the best one for me. All black with the neon glowing and the black and purple shoes is so awesome. Her whole set is phenomenal. As I said before, Fortnite really cooked with this battle pass and Mei is no exception. She is easily my favorite skin in the battle pass. Oh, but now we get into 
the top three and at number three is raven team leader oh my god where do i start with her you know what i'm gonna just say this right here twitter is so fucking horny for this skin if you thought people were down bad enough with chun li in fortnite you have not seen the insane amount of fan art of her which really boggles my mind and of course some of them are rule 34. however if you put all that aside she's really cute why not OG really has killed it with the remix skins and Raven team leader is no exception with her being a combination of cuddle team leader and the Raven skin. Not the one from DC, just an original Raven skin. But her design definitely stands out from the rest and that's exactly what I like about her. I am so happy that she made a return this year and even more happy that she didn't end up as a battle pass skin because that would have pissed off a lot of people. So they really played it smart with Raven team leader. She's a super cute skin to rock. And coming at number two is Tropical Punch Zoe. She's also a reskin. A reskin of Zoe from Chapter 1 Season 4's Battle Pass. You know, at this point, I don't think they need to bring back the original Battle Pass skins if they're able to make reskins that are way better than the originals. And as I said before, they really need to make a reskin of Lennox Rose. I am waiting for it, But yeah, I absolutely adore the fit of Tropical Zoe. The purple and green bun twig tails really looks good on her. I like the vibrant tank top with the purple and pink shirts and spats. The red and green fingerless glove she has on her left arm looks really cool. And the pink and green booty shorts really stands out a lot. As well as the lollipop tattoo on her left thigh. Overall, Travel Compun Zoe definitely fits the summer theme a lot. And she definitely fits the candy vibe as well. And you can still get her right now by buying the Summer Legends pack, which is like almost $20. And it comes with her along with two other skins and three back blings. So I say get it before it rotates out of the shop. But nonetheless, I don't think she can ever beat the number one spot. Which I'm sure some of you already know at this point. And is Leela. Ever since I saw her with a holiday style during Winterfest 2023, I was so thankful to hear that she wasn't a Battle Pass skin. So I waited months for her to return, and I did not expect to see her come back during season 2 of this current chapter. As the old saying goes, good things come to those who wait. Leela is such a cutie, and she really stands out a hell of a lot. Having stuffed arms as a way to carry a weapon while having her actual arms in her jacket is so brilliant. I really love the pink and blue hair, and her light purple eyes look so damn majestic. The purple, blue, and white jacket is really nice. On the level of color blocking to say the least. The purple and white plaid skirt is really cute. The pink band-aids on the right cheek and the left thigh adds a bit more uniqueness to her. And her sneakers are super cute too. Purple and blue really complement each other well. I also love the holiday edit style. This will go well with Winterfest 2024. Assuming that they'll learn from the previous Winterfest which was absolute dog water. But yeah, I love Leela a lot. Not only is she my favorite original Fortnite skin, but she's my all-time favorite Fortnite skin of all to use. But yeah, so that is my top 10 favorite Fortnite original skins. I know all of them are pretty much female, but as I said before, I mostly enjoy rocking the female Fortnite skins. They just like they just fit me so well, honestly. But that is gonna be it for this. Let me know in the comment section below on who's your favorite Fortnite original skin. Uh, I'll be reading the comments, but, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, but until then, it's the Starter Protagonist signing out. As always, go Kigenyo, and have a startastic day, everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notifications on to join the Star Nation. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, and while you're at it, check out my previous video. Now.